Welcome back to the TV studio here at Tech Accelerate, the flagship event of London Tech Week. My name is David McClelland, and I'm joined here on the sofa by Arthur Fruk, who is the founder of Muslamic Makers. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So you are one of London Tech Week's change makers. Uh, tell me about that. What what is a change maker here and what does that mean for you? Yeah, so a change maker um, in the context of London Tech Week are basically people in London who are doing something different and are kind of ones to watch. Um, and I guess for me it was it was quite nice to actually be recognized because I think sometimes it just feels like you're just doing a lot and actually nobody's kind of noticing. So I think actually to be selected as a change maker was, a, was an honor. Now let's talk about what it is that you're doing a lot of. Muslamic makers. What is that? Yeah, sure. So Muslimic Makers is a Muslims in tech community um, that me and my friend Murtaza set up about two years ago. Um, it came basically out of a need that me and him were feeling. Um, we'd both been working in the technology field. And we just kind of, one, like, we knew that there were cool people like us working in the tech field. So one, we wanted to bring them together. But two, we were kind of sick and tired of a lot of tech events, I guess, not being inclusive in the sense, you know, as Muslims, we don't drink. A lot of tech events tend to be quite booze and heavy. Um, so we kind of just wanted to actually just create a safe place, a safe place where people like us could come. They can see people, role models in, you know, in the industry that look like them, that come from similar background as them. And, you know, we can help raise aspirations in the process. And I guess in terms of the, 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 the tech needs, you know, you're talking about uh, role models within the community to I inspire others. But in terms of the products and, and services that matter to the Muslim community, that's that they're also quite different to those that might uh, matter elsewhere. Yes, that's correct. I mean, um, so, you know, um because of the way our lifestyle is, there's a whole massive market now growing called the global Islamic economy. Um, because off the back of that, we've now kind of got products, everything from kind of Muslim marriage apps, you know, a bit like Tinder, but very catered and heavily in terms of, you know, getting married, to actually, you know, banking products that are kind of Sharia compliant, to Islamic wills. So, you know, there's tech products now that are, you know, being created and being run that cater for this, this generation who want quality, but also want to stay true to their values. And you talk about generations there. I, I've heard the term Generation M. Is, is that a thing in your parlance? Yeah, that, that's correct. So Generation M, there's a whole kind of book um, kind of written off the back of it, which are, is about people like me. You know, my parents were kind of first first gen Im immigrants here, uh, but I have, I have studied here, I went to university here, I work here. So in a sense, there's a bit more, I guess, money, um, money as well, spending money, spending power. Uh, and because of that, actually, you know, we've got everything. Now we even have Western brands, you know, thinking about kind of modest clothing for kind of Muslim women and stuff, because they're, they're kind of realizing actually there's a lot of money to be made. Talk to me about London. You're based in London, yep. um, and obviously London's quite a hub. Obviously, a, a great place to be because there's a large Muslim community. But you know, speaking from my own experience elsewhere in the UK, there are large Muslim communities elsewhere as well. How are you uh, finding uh, your uh, your community and uh, Muslimic makers uh, reaching out to those other regions as well? Yeah, so right now uh, most of our events are in London. Actually, to be fair, all of them have been. Um, however, recently we just got um, given a grant by Dot Everyone, Martha Lane uh, mm -hmm. Fox's thing, um, to actually help pay for travel expenses for anyone beyond London to come to our events. So that's quite good. So quite looking forward to kind of doing a bit more of that. We also have a Slack community and an online community as well. So for mm -hmm. anyone beyond London can actually tap in. But also off the back of it um, you know we've had people Muslims in Manchester be like hey could you come and do you know events here yep. so now we're in talks with them about potentially starting a chapter for example in Manchester so I'm quite excited about actually now having that reach beyond London because I think as especially as a as you know as a co-founder in the beginning you kind of just have to do the bare minimum and get the basics right and the consistency but now I feel like you know for two years we've done it really well you know we've done probably I think over 15 or 16 events um, you know we just celebrated our second birthday so now I feel like okay, cool, now we're at a point where we can definitely start reaching out more. So before we go, Arthur, tell me about London Tech Week. What have you made of it so far? Yes, yeah, so far it seems really, really interesting. I've obviously seen, seen some really interesting articles, um, everything from, you know, money being pumped more into London to obviously, you know, the, the American tech companies, make, you know, saying, right, we're definitely coming to here to grow and stuff. So I think London is definitely a happening place to be. I think the most exciting thing, however, about tech generally and I think it's something that most people need to realize is actually 
you know, if you're a non-techie and people mistake me for a techie because I go on about tech all the time, is actually there's a place for you. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a lawyer or do marketing, etc. There is a place for you in the technology world. And, you know, now every company is going to be a tech company. So kind of get on board. That's great to hear. Arthur Farouk from Muslimic Makers, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. Thank you very much.